You might have seen the recent pictures of Prime Minister Modi dipping his toes in Lakshadweep, snorkeling and just enjoying the soothing sounds of the Indian Ocean. As soon as the pictures were published, as usual, Modi supporters reveled in joy while Modi critics dismissed them as an election stunt. Nevertheless, one immediate benefit of uh, this was Lakshadweep trending in social media. Millions of people are exploring the beauty of Lakshadweep online and contemplating a visit instead of going to Maldives. India is trying to punch the Maldives where it hurts the most, its tourism industry. But if you're wondering why India is trying to hurt the Maldives economy, the answer to that question is this man, Mohammad Mizu, who recently became the president of Maldives. The Maldives, a tiny country in the Indian Ocean with a population of 500,000, has become a sort of chessboard for India and China to exert their influence in the Indian Ocean. India considers this region in its sphere of influence, while China is trying to counter that by forging close relations with the nations in the Indian Ocean, including Maldives. In August 2022, then Maldives president declared that India is the highest priority, and a year later in November, lost the presidency to Mohammad Mizu, who is considered very close to China. The first thing Mizu did after winning the presidency was asking India to withdraw its military personnel from Maldives. Uh, we have foreign military troops here. It happens to be from India. The, the point is we don't want any foreign military goods to be in the Maldivian soil. That's it. The people of the Maldives don't want any foreign military presence to be in our country. And right now it happens to be Indian military presence, presence here. And uh, that's exactly what we are trying to address, what's pe what the people of the Maldives want to be addressed. And that's what the people voted me in for. And I, I promised to them and I'm going to live up to my promise. Mohammad Mizu broke the long tradition of Maldivian presidents visiting India first, but rather chose to visit Turkey instead. He is doing all that can possibly hurt India, getting closer to China, Turkey, and asking Indian military to withdraw from the region. One can guess his next set of actions, extending military cooperation, increased economic assistance from China. No doubt, India is alarmed at this developing situation. When Mizu and Prime Minister Modi met in Dubai during COP28, they tried to find the common ground. Apparently, it didn't work out. Now the President of Maldives is visiting China on Jan 8th. Exactly a week before that, Modi released the pictures of snorkeling in Lakshadweep, giving a hint to Mizu that uh, India will target the Maldives tourism sector if it gives a space to China in the Indian Ocean. Why does Indian tourists matter for the Maldives? In 2023, a total of 1.8 million people visited Maldives, with close to 200,000 from India, representing roughly 15% of Maldives tourists. This is what the Indian government is targeting now. This is the reason for splashing those photos of Modi in Lakshadweep, which is being set as an alternate tourist destination to the Maldives. The Maldives economy is built around tourism, fisheries and shipping industry. Tourism plays a significant role and contributes 30% to Maldives economy. Apart from countering the Maldives, developing Lakshadweep gels with the Modi's India first policy. A master marketeer, instead of asking Indians to choose Lakshadweep in place of Maldives, he chose to lead by example by being a tourist in Lakshadweep. While our Bollywood celebrities are busy promoting foreign destinations, and most of them Maldives in particular, Prime Minister Modi is asking Indians to explore India rather than mindlessly follow these celebrities. Hopefully, Indian celebrities explore India and pose for pictures as proudly as they do at foreign destinations. Finally, when political leaders do something outside their norm, always guess there is more to it than what is being said. Like Modi flying a Tejas jet recently. Some people called it an election stunt. Maybe it is, who knows. But it is also signaling the world that these fighter jets are safe. As you can see, I have travelled in it and I can watch for it. This was done to counter apprehensions from Egypt and Malaysia, who backed out of buying Tejas due to concerns about its durability and reliability. How do you convince your potential customers that these jets are safe? 
you ride in it and that's what modi did so that's the geopolitical story behind modi's lakshadweep visit will it have a positive impact on lakshadweep tourism let us know your thoughts in the comment section if you like this video don't forget to hit that uh, like button and subscribe for more interesting content until next time stay curious